Welcome to this video on water tank math. Right now I'm going to show you addition. Alright, when I'm using the water tank math prob uh, apparatus design, I'm going to do a problem, let's say 3 plus 5. Okay. So how does 3 plus 5 look using water tank math? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this first number, 3. So 3 is a positive integer, so I'm going to go up to 3, and I like to just draw a little squiggly line representing where the water is starting from. So imagine this is all colored in blue, so there's the, the water level is at 3, and then I'm going to add. As soon as I see the plus sign, I know something is going to be happening up here on this top curved line. I'm not going to be dealing with this bottom line at all. So I'm going to be dealing with the top line. 3 plus and then 5. 5 is a positive number, so 5 means that I'm going to be adding water to the top of the water tank. Just like in a toilet, you flush the toilet, water comes from the top of the bowl and fills the bowl. So what I like to do is I just put a little arrow showing that water is going to come in. And if water is going to come in, the water level is going to go up. So I also like to draw little arrows like this to show that the water level is going to rise. It's going to rise 5 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's going to be right there. So that is where my ending water level will be. So I can see that 3 plus 5 equals, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8. Okay, now that's using the uh, beginner design. If I wanted to just extend this to the advanced design or the intermediate design, I wouldn't have, in the intermediate, I wouldn't have these lines up here at the top or the bottom. So if I did another problem, I'll just redraw this in here. So let's say I had 2 plus. 7. So 2 plus 7, what does that equal? Well, again, I'm going to start at 2. Plus means something's going to happen at the top. So in the intermediate tank, there are no curved lines at the top or bottom. And so what I would just simply do is just draw a curved line like this. 7, a positive integer. So again, we're going to add water to the top of the tank. So the water tank, the toilet is going to fill up from the bottom. So I'm going to go up 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The water level is going to rise because I'm filling from the top, and I can see that it ends up at, at 9. So those are just a couple examples of how I like to use the water tank math design to do addition problems.